Hi everyone, it's me, Melanie, your IVF nurse, and today's topic is going to be about donor eggs. Now, for everyone, this is a very personal decision, and it may not be for every woman or every family, so it is something to consider if the doctor starts mentioning it to you, but as mentioned, for some women, they will decide that donor egg is not an option because they do want that genetic relation. Now, if you've been diagnosed with premature ovarian failure, or if you're known as a poor responder. So usually once women have aged after the age of 38, depending on your medical history, the doctor may start referring to you as someone who does not respond well to the FSH and LH combinations of medications during the IVF cycle. So you're producing very little amount of eggs. Now, this does not mean that you can't go on and continue to do your own IVF cycles. Um, your doctor may recommend doing genetic testing, especially if you're over the age of 38 or 40 or definitely over the age of 42. You're doing the IVF cycles with genetic testing and then from there you're able to see how many of those embryos are normal. Um, as you age, the likelihood of having abnormal or aneuploid embryos increases. So as you age, if you've just got that advanced maternal age diagnosis um, and you're looking at having a child, then the doctor may start discussing with you the use of donor eggs. Now, as I had mentioned, this is a very personal choice, something that you would discuss with your partner or you would have to make that decision on your own to move forward if you're a single woman. Um, and from there, your doctor would discuss with you the options of donor eggs. So some people will opt to have fresh donor eggs and there are agencies across Canada and the US um, that do provide donors that are local to where you live or the donors can fly in um, for the egg donation cycle or at least to have the retrieval done. Um, the other option is to use a frozen egg bank. Now a lot of these are popping up in the United States um, and they offer eggs that have already been retrieved and they're currently frozen and what happens is that they ship them out in either called egg lots or batches. Um, now your specific clinic, if you are looking at possibly using donor eggs to achieve a pregnancy, your reproductive endocrinologist will be able to discuss with you the programs that they offer. So some may prefer the frozen egg banks over doing fresh donor egg cycles, or they may offer both programs. So it's something definitely for you to look into. If you would like more information from me on these donor egg banks or about fresh donor agency cycle, you can email me at youriVFnurse at gmail.com. Please feel free to check out my website, www.youriVFnurse.com. You can follow me on Instagram at youriVFnurse. Thanks for watching.